This video is to give you an overview of the Manage Expense Report application. This video will not show you how to create an expense report, and there are separate videos for that. Go to Expense, Expense Reports, and Manage Expense Report. This section of the page is called the Header section. It will show you your expense report number, the date, and the status of this expense report. This is for the purpose of what the expense was for. You can scroll through the different tabs by clicking on the word. And the workflow is where you could see all of the tasks that were assigned for this expense report, what the task was, who was to complete it, if it's completed, and who completed it. It's good practice to go back to the purpose screen whenever you're in an expense report. And you'll see why when we do the create an expense report video. In this section over here, you'll see that I'm currently viewing seventh out of 25 existing expense reports. You can use the arrows to scroll back and forth between your expense reports. When you scroll to the bottom, you'll see all of the detailed claim expenses for the expense report that you are currently viewing. The claimed expenses are currently in table view and you can scroll to the right to see all of the details pertaining to each of those expense lines. Or you can simply click form and scroll through them that way using the arrows that will scroll through each line of the expense. I'm going to change this back to table view. We'll scroll up. This is still in form view. The screen can get a little chunky when you start opening different windows. You can click on these little blue links and what it does is brings up a whole nother section. You can click on another one and it brings up another section. So each time you click on these links it's bringing up a new section and as you can see it's starting to get very um, chunky in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close out the sections that I no longer need to see. You can also minimize your header so that it's out of the way while you view individual sections. I'm going to maximize that. You can also look at your expense reports in a table view. It makes it a little bit easier to find a specific expense report that you may be looking for. And then if you scroll to the bottom, you'll see the actual um, claimed expenses for each of those. So as you choose another expense report up here, it'll refresh and show you everything down here. You can also keep it table view up here and change it down here to form view so that you can scroll through and look at the details for each expense. We'll put that back to table view. You can also minimize while in table view. And there you have a smaller section to work with. You can print the details of an expense report by first clicking on print options and then choose a printer. I typically choose download so it opens up on your screen. Click OK. Click the drop down and we'll choose expense report summary. And then we'll open it up. And there is a detailed summary of your expenses. This concludes the overview of Manage Expense Reports. Please watch the remaining videos to learn how to create an expense report.